Hello again everybody and welcome back to this DCS Combined Arms Mission following the HNC Warthog and I'm starting to soften up a target area out here in preparation for some friendly armor and mechanized units that I see right down here below me to make a push up this valley and into the target area but for now I'm just using air power to soften up the target and have it a little bit of an easier go uh, for my mechanized units as they go in. I've kind of split my flight up. I have my or had my second element going in and doing their own thing. Number three did get taken out by some AAA, and let me check on three. Three is saw an approach to Mineral Line Vodi, so hopefully he can make this landing. And four is holding out there in the in the distance. Has already fired a couple of Mavericks, and I can get four back in on some targets here at any time. I did have one target out here set up for myself, but uh, I got kind of cut off because I didn't have my Mavericks powered up and and ready, which is something I shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have been an issue, but okay, so now I'm going to go in with Mavericks, take out this last tank, even though the JTAC did request CBU, it's not really a suitable target at this point for CBU because it's just one piece of armor out there uh, in that area remaining to be taken out. So I'm just going to run back in myself and take out this target. Okay, so let me go back to my pod Okay, still got the target area set up. Okay, I've got my targeting pod set up as my speed. Let me just go ahead and slave everything on over there, including the Maverick. And let me go ahead and go to narrow field of view. Let me see if I can lock this guy up. A little bit far out, 7.6 nautical miles. I need about about 5 miles with a D-model Maverick. Altitude is just fine. I'm not going to get in there close enough to be worrying about AAA. Okay, good luck. Okay, good perimeter, 6.5 miles. I'm going to go ahead and take this shot. Okay, missile away. I'm going to break off and just hold here. Okay, so let me go ahead and go back to the targeting pod and watch this thing as it goes in. Okay, let me go to wide field of view. I can probably pick up the missile actually as it uh, comes into the field of view and then zoom in. Any second now. If I kept my Maverick page up, or if I looked up to the hill and I could see my time to impact. No, actually, no, four seconds to impact. It's right there on my, my uh, targeting pod display as well. And, <laughs> wouldn't you know it. Uh, talk about timing on the mask, but okay. Good enough. Okay, Type 1 in effect this time. Okay, ready to copy. It's kind of rare to see anything other than a Type 3 called in from a JTAC in DCS. Was I even on the right frequency there? I probably wasn't. Uh, VHF FM, ready to copy. Ready to copy. Line is as follows. One, two, three, NA. Two thousand six hundred eight MSL. Tanks. Lima. Papa. One, four, four, six. Seven, one, no mark, northeast, 4,000 meters, troops in contact, egress, south. Advise when ready for remarks and further talk on. Okay, north, northeast, 4,000 meters, that's my position right now with my friendly forces right down here. So, okay, that's the friendly location. I know the JTAC location as well. Okay, advise when for remarks and for further talk on. So, go VHFM, ready to copy. Ready to copy remarks. Okay, lots of AAA. Three, zero, zero, five, zero. Okay, three zero 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 five zero. I might have misinterpreted what was being called in there on the last one. He wants me to come in from three zero zero. I thought that was zero three zero. Three zero zero to zero five zero. So that's going to be northwest to south east ish. Yeah. Okay, so let me go ahead and get that target location from him. Give him a good reback on the nine line. And get some data coming our way. Okay, let me get the artillery mission back up and running. So. Okay, so let me get this one going. Start fire. Okay, back to F1. Okay, new tasking. Let me see where we have it here. 
Okay, down there by steer point five, okay? Let me go ahead and slew on over to that. Okay, good enough. Okay, we'll go. Okay, let me make that my speed and slave my pod on over there to have a look in that area. And get this attack going. Okay, so looking back into the target area. I know I've got a lot, a lot of AAA right out there. I'm expecting this target to be out there around that, that second little tree line right out there. That's where I would guess that it is. Okay, stir point five. Okay, I got that as my speed. So, okay, let me go ahead and make my... Uh, go ahead and slave it on over to the speed. Have a look at what we have here in the pod. Okay, let me take it... Okay, I just need to come around a little bit. Okay, it's unmasked now. Okay, CB-97, I've got some good targets out there. My goodness, this is the target that I have the artillery mission going in on. Actually, let me go into the F-10 F view. And let me just go ahead and uh, stop that artillery mission until I can get in and out of that area. So, okay, stop fire. Is there anything else that I can be doing with my with my flight? I believe I'll take my entire flight in there with me on this one. See if they can take out some more of these tanks. This this is the actually no. This is what was called in for the JTAC. I believe that's what I was seeing. Okay, so let me go to okay this point. Okay, I've got my targeting pod as my speed at this point. Let me acknowledge that message. I don't need any other data. Okay, let me go ahead and. Uh, Oh, let's see here. How do I want to set this up? I need some more altitude if I'm going to be going in there against the U-23s. So let me go ahead and pull it out of autopilot. Take it on up to about 12,000 feet. I'll just hold it right here, trim it out for a climb in the left-hand turn. Okay, I had CBU-97 called up. I'm going to do single deliveries in CCRP. That's how I set up this profile. And, okay, that's good enough for now. So... Okay, once I come back around with some more altitude, I'll report inbound to the IP and go from there. Uh, let me see, uh, attack heading 300 to uh, whatever the other one was. Okay, uh, did I have the attack heading here? I know the first part of it was 300, so it'll be uh, egress to the south. Okay, so what did what did the JTAC have in mind for me right there? He wanted me to come in 300 to 050. So I need to come up here to around steer point six, hit these targets, and then egress to the south. That's actually not a bad plan. So let me call up steer point six as my active steer point. And go ahead and uh, head out in that direction. I'll take my entire flight with me. So let me go VHF or UHF flight rejoin. Flight, join up. Let me check on three. Okay, three, thank goodness, made it uh, yeah, made it back. Lost the entire tail section. My goodness, you can see the, uh, you can see the, uh, uh, not the actuator. What would you call that? It's the, uh, I'd call, I'd call it an ISA, Integrated Server Actuator. That's what it would have been on the F-117 at least. That's the only aircraft that I really know that much detail about when it comes to detailed maintenance. But yeah, look at that. A lot of stuff that you can see in there. Okay, so three made it back. Let me go back around here. I got 40 degrees to go, or actually 130 degrees to go until I'm back out there at steer point six. Warning, I'll make this run, and then I'll get the ground war kicked off. So that I'll at least have some uh, some options when it comes to ground attack when the ground war does kick off. Okay, so I'm heading towards steer point six right now. 9,900 feet. Let me climb up to about 12,000 uh, 12, ASL at least. Which will put me at about 10,000 above ground level, I think, for this uh, this part of the map. Okay, so let me go back to the pod. And okay, everything's looking just peachy there. Let me see if I can pick out some of those AAA locations. Okay, narrow field of view. Okay, I saw something up there. I know those were tanks out there in the open. Okay, that's just terrain up there. I know the AAA is there. The ZU-23 can be very, very hard to pick out in the pod.
Yeah, there's one. Right there. So I'm going to have, uh, I'll have actually my, I'll send number four in there with Mavericks to uh, take out this, uh, this, this triple A. And then I'll come back in on that heading and uh, engage with CBU. Okay, steer point six, still got a couple of miles to go. Okay, 11 o'clock for raid, air defense targets, okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this set up. Let me go to second element. Engage air defenses with missile from the north. Engage air defenses at my speed with Maverick from the north. And two, uh, since you're going to follow me in anyway, let me go ahead and go wingman. Engage anything that you want to uh, with missile from the north engage targets of opportunity at my speed with Maverick and JTAC let me call IP inbound hog 2 1 IP inbound hog 2 1 continue okay dope okay i'm in Okay, no, cleared hot. Okay, 10 seconds to release. I'm just going to do this from a level release. Okay, weapon away. I'm going to continue egressing to the south as called in by the JTAC. And just keep an eye out here for air threats. I should be good when it comes to AAA. I will put it into a general climb, though. I've got about 25 seconds to impact. So this should do some good down there in either case. Okay, so we just kind of uh, kind of keep an eye on things down here. Okay, four has fired a missile. Okay, let me call off. Well, you may speak too soon. Hopefully, I'll get some good action out of this uh, out of the CBU. Okay, rounds on target. My CBU should have dispensed. Hog, two, one. Unable to comply. Uh, what did I just hit? I tried to hit F6 so I could... Uh... Hog, two, one. No further tasking available. Nice work. You may depart. Huh, okay. So there we go. I had an impact. That was my. Those are my CBUs right there, impacting on those two tanks. Okay, so good kills on my two targets. That's... Delayed action, but that's the way that the CB-97 works. Okay, so let me go... Let me see, what is the rest of my flight doing? I had two in there. Okay, two's following me out. Four is... Back in on the target. Let me go and check on four, see what four is doing here. So, jeez, let me just get out of that... Ah, this communication menu is driving me nuts. Okay, F2. There's two. There's three. There's four. Okay, it looks like 2 is just coming back off the target, rejoining on me as well. So that's exactly right. Just in case, though, let me go... Uh, let me go flight, rejoin, F6. Flight, join up. Negative. Let me check back in with the JTAC, F2. Two. One, one. This is Hog 2, 1, 4, 8, 10. Lima, Papa, 1, 3, 5, 6, and 14,000. I have AGM 65D. CBU 97, 4,600 gun. Time on station is 0 plus 30. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? Okay, now let me go ahead and get this artillery mission going again. And just have take stock of the situation. Okay, I've got some artillery down here that I definitely want to take out. I've still got these A-10s holding out there. I'm just going to keep them around just in case I need their gun once I get the, the ground war going. And speaking of the ground war, let me see. Now would probably be a good time to move some of this stuff forward, at least. Um, okay, let me go ahead and set path for these guys and just take them down here to, uh, to the edge of this town. Okay, set path right there. 
Okay, and uh, yeah, speed. Okay, that's good enough. Sit path, speed. I just uh, take it slow on up in column formation. Okay, good enough on that for now. Let me go in and see what these guys are doing, actually. Is that not allowed? Oh, I was... Ah, comms menu! Okay, sounds good. Ready to copy. Ready to copy remarks. Okay, now I've got those tanks visible out there coming up over this ridge. So I'll be able to see down into this area and see if there's uh, anything left. Okay, requesting CBU 97s, U23 around the target area. Okay, got it. Let me go ahead and give a read back. Yeah, I do need to take out this artillery because that's enemy artillery going into this this village. Okay, copy, clear to engage. I believe this was a Type 3, so let me come back around here. Okay, I've got uh, two targets called out flashing right now. Actually, no, this was the new target down here, wasn't it? Okay, let me go Wilco. Okay, let me see if I can make this my speed. Okay, got that. Okay, five is the speed. Go ahead and slave this on over once I unmask again and go to wide field of view. Yep, got it. Okay, let me come back around and have a look into this area. So, slave it on up to the speed, roll out. Let's see what we have down here. Okay, got the intended target. That's gotta be it right there. Okay, got. Armor piece and an APC. This is where I had some artillery going in just recently. Actually, I have artillery going in there right now. Okay, so that's... I know there's more stuff right around there. I just can't pick them out at this point. Let me see if I can find some more armor. Okay, Tally Bandit. That's going to be a, uh, that's probably one of those MI-24s. But folks, this is going to be a good place to put a break in the video. Come back the next time with continuation and some further engagement. Flying right into the path of this artillery. But first, let me go to the F-10 view and stop that artillery mission before I get taken out here. And, uh, of course, that's not really how it's going to work, but... Okay, so let me select my artillery... Go to uh, stop fire, and that'll free me up to go in there and take out this emplacement myself. So, there we go. So, folks, uh, thanks again for watching, everybody. I'll be back next time, and see you soon.